if a person is forced to give divorce for example he's threatened or a gun is put on his head and he's forced to give divorce so in this situation the majority of the scholars they say that divorce it is not considered in this situation because a person is forced in this situation and we know this based on verses of the glorious Quran when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says illa maqturitum ilayhi except if you are compelled to do it and the general ruling in Islam is that if a person is forced to do something for example if a person is forced to leave the religion of Islam someone is threatening him and telling him that if you do not leave Islam so I will kill you or someone puts a gun on his head and tells him that if you do not leave Islam I will kill you so in this situation the scholars they say that he can verbally say that he does not believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or he does not believe in Islam but in his heart but naturally he needs to maintain his iman and his iman needs to be strong but verbally he can say this that he does not believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in order to save himself in this situation because he is threatened that he will be killed similar is the case if a person is if a person he is dying out of hunger and he does not find any food and the only food that is available that will save him that will save his life it is pork so in this situation he is permitted to eat pork only to save his life and only that particular amount which will save his life because here he's, he does not have any other option so similarly if a husband is forced to give divorce whether it be a verbal divorce or whether it be a written divorce and someone has pointed a gun on his head or someone has threatened him that he will torture him he will persecute him so in this situation even if he gives divorce the divorce it is not counted it is not considered whether it be a verbal divorce or whether it be a written divorce as rightly said by the majority of the scholars so i hope that answers the question